How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So what is a VPN and how does it work? Now, a VPN or a virtual private network is a technology that basically allows users to create a secure and encrypted connection over the internet. It offers increased privacy, security, and access to geo-restricted content, or basically content that is not available in your region. So let's talk a little bit about VPN services, how they work, and the underlying principles that make them effective. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the best three VPNs as well. That'll be Express Northern Surfshark a little bit later. So stick around for that. Now, a VPN service works by creating a secure tunnel between your device and a VPN server. This is your device and this is the VPN server. And basically, instead of your device being connected to your ISP and then the Internet, you connect your device to the VPN client, and then the VPN will encrypt your traffic, take that encrypted traffic to the ISP through the VPN server, and then to the internet. This tunnel encrypts your internet traffic, ensuring that your data remains private and secure from eavesdroppers. When you connect to a VPN server, your original IP address is replaced with that of the server, making it more difficult for websites and third parties to track your online activity. So if I check my IP finder right here, it'll say that I am indeed in Dallas, Texas, instead of wherever I am. Okay. Now, the essential components of a VPN service include a VPN client, a VPN server, and a VPN protocol. And the VPN client is the software or the application installed on your device. And that device could be a computer, smartphone, tablet, or smart TV. The VPN server is whatever country that you choose. Um, you can pick a country and that will connect you basically to a VPN server. That is the physical or virtual server hosted by the VPN provider, and it is responsible for handling and encrypting your internet traffic, as well as masking your IP address. And finally, you have the protocols. So if we go to protocols here, you'll see we have a few options, and a VPN protocol is a set of rules and guidelines that determine how your data is transmitted and encrypted between your device and the VPN server. Common protocols include OpenVPN, uh, ICAP, F2, WireGuard, and L2TP. Um, most VPNs do use OpenVPN, and in this case, we have a proprietary protocol with ExpressVPN called Lightweight UDP, which is just a little bit more optimized for ExpressVPN. Now, there are a few steps involved in establishing a VPN connection. First, you initiate the connection when you launch your VPN client and select a server. The client initiates a connection with the chosen VPN server. The VPN client and server exchange credentials to authenticate each other, ensuring that the connection is secure and trusted. And then once the connection is authenticated, the VPN client and server establish an encrypted tunnel using the chosen VPN protocol. And this tunnel encrypts all data transmitted between your device and the server. And as your data passes through the VPN server, your original IP address is replaced with that of the server, concealing your online identity. And with the encrypted tunnel established and your IP address masked, you can browse the internet securely and privately. Uh, so in this case, I am browsing the internet from France as far as my network is concerned. So all in all, a VPN service works by creating an encrypted tunnel between your device and a VPN server, ensuring that your internet traffic remains secure, private, and anonymous. And by using a VPN, you can enhance your online security, protect your privacy, and access content that may not be available to you, whether it's a uh, website, a service, a streaming service, or a bank account, or whatever it is that you're looking to get access to. If you're abroad, for example, you're able to do that with a VPN by taking a little virtual holiday. Now, how do you know which one of these VPNs is the best choice for you? Let's talk a little bit about them. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting 
starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is, and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, ExpressVPN is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider to be the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming. Or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, the NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity, and it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. And so that is it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. And they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not satisfied with any of them for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.